Welcome to the Amateur Traveler Video Edition. I'm your host, Chris Christensen. My recent trip to Oaxaca, Mexico, I ran into Felipe, who is a fourth generation weaver from the area, a Zapotec, and he volunteered to be my tour guide. The first place he took me was the Big Tree. And the next place he took me was Mitla, and Mitla is a Zapotec ruin. Unlike Montalban, which is a well-known ruin outside of Oaxaca, Mitla is not as well preserved. It was discovered by the Spanish who took many of its original stones and used it to build this nearby church. Only some of the fragments of the original artwork that was once across the walls is left. Just a fragment to give you an idea of what it looked like. Unfortunately, some of what was left has been vandalized. Our next stop was the Sunday market at Tlacolula, and Tlacolula has one of the best Sunday markets in the area for crafts and also for some of the traditional foods like the chili that you would use in your mole. You can, of course, as in many of the markets, get food to eat here. Some of the best food that I had in Mexico were from the markets. And then Felipe took me to his house to show me how a rug is made in the traditional fashion. Felipe's daughter-in-law and her daughter demonstrate the carting of the wool. So you cart it and then you spin it and then you make cart the skein. Cart it, uh, spin it, and then uh, make it to the skein, and then wash it. And then uh, more than to the wool and get the color from the insects, the cochineal. Uh, this is the, the cochineal. The insects we get from the cactus, the prickly pr cactus. When it's uh, when you just get it from the cactus and you just squish it, you get the red. But this is the dry, the dry huh. insects. Uh, she's gonna grind this on this metate. Uh. <laughs> This is the pomegranate skin. That's the pomegranate skin. This is bark of the cedar tree. Bark of the cedar tree, okay. Alfalfa mixed with the uh, pomegranate skin. Cochineal. Right. Marigold mixed with cochineal. Ah, the marigold, okay, that's what that is. Right. Uh -huh. This is one of the uh, walnut shells. Ah, uh -huh, okay. And these are all traditional dyes? Yeah. The cochineal. This is cochineal in different shades. It depends the more that we use. Okay. The blue, this is the, no, this is a, a black beans. Black beans, okay. Black beans. One of shells. This is a prickly pear, prickly pear fruit. The cochineal mixed with the indigo and the indigo. It's this one. This is just so already ground, ground into the powder. Right. Yeah. yeah. When I use a big quantity, I do in the back, the uh, the backyard. Uh huh. The wool needs to be washed with soap to get out the, a little grace of the ship, you know. I don't think that 
I need to wash the yarn three times. No. Okay. This is all ready. I know where the line is. I need to heat the. Uh, the I need to boil the yarn with the mordant. No, no, no. You see it's white. Okay. Let's boil it like 10 minutes and then we'll be back. Thank you for watching this episode of the Amateur Traveler Video Edition. For more episodes of the video or the weekly audio show, check out AmateurTraveler.com.